So, like, for instance, let's say you have no races. Let's say you have no classes, no nothing. You have, there's no purpose in your life. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K. There's no, there's no, um, I'm going to get into school to be this or that and still perform to the highest level. Because what people don't get is one day that thing's going to come up. And if you're not constantly performing without purpose, you're not going to be ready when the time comes. It's this magical thing, purpose that we're all looking for. But what's funny about it all is that we need these things to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. You are always the purpose. There may be another purpose, like being a SEAL or going to college or whatever, but the main purpose in life is you. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life, is to better oneself. So that's the only purpose I fucking need. So the reason I get up every day, even though there's no race or there's no school, or there's nothing in front of me, is because I have pride in myself. Well, where do you go to? You wake up on a morning, it's cold, it's mm -hmm. wet, it's dark, you've got no cartilage in your knee, you've mm -hmm. got shitty shorts, whatever it is that's the issue today. Keep talking. <laughs> you've got these problems, right? I need you to keep talking about what you were just saying. It's warm on the couch. That's your it. missus says stay in that's bed. It. It's comfy, that's it's cozy. It. You've got it. work later on. You had an argument last night. You're slightly hung over. I know every motherfucker ain't going to do what I'm going to do. So this is how you level up. That's how you level up. I know there's a whole bunch of people with that right there. That fires me up. That makes me fucking happy what you just said. That brings joy to my life right there. Why? Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. You talk about that you were kind of, you know, lonely by yourself. I was the same way. And that used to hurt me growing up. Now I fucking thrive in that shit. That's the only place to be. A lot of people, you know, wonder, how did you become this? How did you become so vulnerable? How, did you be, how are you doing a podcast now when you were this kid? You overcame things. You fought them. And now this is what happens. This is on the other side of overcoming. It becomes, you become very, very powerful when you overcome yourself. All those things you once cowered from, you were afraid of, when you face them eye to eye every day, you have to want it. You have to want to be better. And it starts off with you have to have pride in yourself. You, you have to have pride in yourself. You have to have, there's something about you, whether it's your last name, whether it's just the smallest thing. You have to be proud of yourself. If you have no pride in yourself, I can't give it to you. Because you're always going to compromise. You're always, always going to fold. Always. I'm very proud of myself. That's why when people said, you know way you can do better than can't hurt me. Roger that. We'll fucking see. It's that pride that wakes you up. And I'm not talking about bad pride. I, I'm a, the, the attention to detail for the human being I want to do. I call this thing, like, I want to be the standard. I want to be that guy. Like, every place I went in the military, there was this ethos about how this place is, how we're going to live how we're going to represent ourselves. And I walked around and I saw that most people didn't live up to that ethos. Like if you go to whatever, whatever company, they, they had this mission statement on how we want to run our company. I made one for myself on how I want to be. And 
That is why if people can make up a mission statement, an ethos in which they want to live by, and every morning you wake up, you hold yourself accountable to that mission, not a company's your own. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything.